It is no surprise that one of the biggest endeavors in human history is to find a way to ensure our species survives the test of time. Over the last few decades, overpopulation and climate change have shown us we can't rely on Earth alone. While we are a long way away from becoming a multi-planetary species, recent reports suggest that NASA's James Webb Space Telescope may have found a suitable exoplanet that has water. Let's take a closer look. 72 hours. That is how long an average human can survive without water. To say that life as we know it is impossible without the presence of water would be an understatement. But finding it in the universe is a lot trickier than you may think. While on Earth, we can see water and handle it with our bare hands, detecting water or finding evidence of past water from far away is much more difficult. Optical telescopes that collect visible light and provide visual images of distant bodies only give us some indication of the brightness and large-scale shapes and structures of large regions. Brighter regions, especially near the north or south pole of a planet or moon, could indicate reflections of frozen water. However, when it's cold enough, even carbon dioxide forms a reflective solid. As such, optical telescopes alone cannot confirm the presence of water. Optical telescopes can also give some indication of mountains and valleys on other planets, but the large distance from Earth makes it very difficult to determine the size and structure of smaller geological features, like those that may have been formed with the help of flowing water. Placing a camera closer to a planet via an orbiting spacecraft allows scientists to collect much higher resolution images of the surface. Spacecraft that can land and even drive on the planet's surface allow humans to move around a planet to look at the size and shape of rocks ranging from larger boulders to tiny pebbles. In addition to camera images, scientists also indirectly understand what material is on a planet by measuring the reflectance of light off the surface. Different materials, including water, absorb and reflect different wavelengths of light, both visible light that humans see as different colors and light that we cannot see with our eyes. The latter includes ultraviolet and infrared. The relative intensity of reflection of different wavelengths is together called a spectrum, which is measured to narrow down the possible range of materials on the surface of an extraterrestrial body. Additional instruments can be designed to detect other wavelengths of light or elementary particles like neutrons emanating from the surface of an extraterrestrial body. These signals can be further interpreted to detect atomic elements such as hydrogen, which is one component of water. Often, the data from multiple instruments and camera images must be put together to determine what's on or even just below the surface. Almost all the processes that make up life on Earth can be broken down into chemical reactions, and most of those reactions require a liquid to break down substances so they can move and interact freely. Liquid water is an essential requirement for life on Earth because it functions as a solvent. It is capable of dissolving substances and enabling key chemical reactions in the animal, plant, and microbial cells. Its chemical and physical properties allow it to dissolve more substances than most other liquids. Other characteristics that make it a good habitat for life are its heat conduction, surface tension, high boiling and melting points, and its ability to let light penetrate it. To quantify what constitutes habitable water, scientists have plotted the range of water conditions on a pressure and temperature diagram. Although we typically think of water as being liquid between 0 and 100 degrees Celsius, this is only true for pure water at Earth's sea level atmospheric pressure. If salt is present, water's freezing point drops below 0 degrees and its boiling point rises above 100 degrees. At high pressure, water remains liquid above 100 degrees Celsius. Scientists estimate that liquid water can exist to a maximum depth of 46 miles below the Earth's surface, where the temperature is more than 400 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 30,000 times that at the surface. But could life live in this water? Probably not. The highest temperature known to support life is 121 degrees Celsius. The coldest water temperature known to support active life is 20 degrees below zero, which is what the researchers take as their lower habitable boundary. Researchers also looked at pressure limits. Life has been found as far down as 5.3 kilometers below the surface, where the pressure is 1,500 times that at the surface. Whether this is truly the highest pressure for habitable water remains to be seen. These restrictions are the primary reason why finding a planet that may support life has proven to be a massive challenge. When searching for possibly habitable exoplanets, it helps to start with worlds similar to our own. Based on what we've observed in our solar system, large gaseous worlds like Jupiter seem far less likely to offer habitable conditions. 
While most of these Earth-sized worlds have been detected orbiting red dwarf stars, Earth-sized planets and wide orbits around Sun-like stars are much harder to detect. And of course, when talking about habitable exoplanets, we must also talk about their stars, the dominant force in any planetary system. Habitable zones capable of hosting life-bearing planets are wider for hotter stars. Smaller, dimmer red dwarfs, the most common type in our Milky Way galaxy, have much tighter habitable zones, as in the TRAPPIST-1 system. Planets in a red dwarf's comparatively narrow habitable zone, which is very close to the star, are exposed to extreme levels of X-ray and ultraviolet radiation, which can be up to hundreds of thousands of times more intense than what Earth receives from the Sun. Life on other planets may be very different from what we know on Earth. But it makes sense, at least at first, to search for something more familiar. Life as we know it should be easier to find. Our best chance of finding life is in the habitable zone, or the area around a star where planetary surface temperatures could allow the pooling of water. Because our Sun has nurtured life on Earth for nearly 4 billion years, conventional wisdom would suggest that stars like it would be prime candidates in the search for other potentially habitable worlds. G-type yellow stars like our Sun, however, are shorter-lived and less common in our galaxy. Stars slightly cooler and less luminous than our Sun, called orange dwarfs, are considered by some scientists as potentially better for advanced life. They can burn steadily for tens of billions of years. This opens up a vast timescale for biological evolution to pursue an infinity of experiments for yielding robust life forms. And for every star like our Sun, there are three times as many orange dwarfs in the Milky Way. Scientists believe that K dwarfs are the true Goldilocks stars. This is because they tend to be in the sweet spot, with properties intermediate between the rarer, more luminous, but shorter-lived solar-type stars and the more numerous red dwarf stars. The K stars, especially the warmer ones, have the best of all worlds. One exoplanet that has come into focus recently is WASP-96b. It orbits a yellow dwarf located about 1,160 light-years away in the constellation Phoenix. Shining at magnitude 12.2, it is invisible to the unaided eye. The Sun-like star hosts at least one exoplanet, but it may host several more. WASP-96 is a yellow main-sequence star of the spectral type G8. It has a mass of 1.06 solar masses and a radius of 1.05 solar radii. With a surface temperature of about 5,540 K, the star is slightly cooler than the Sun. Even though it has similar properties to the Sun, WASP-96 is more than twice as old. It has an estimated age of 9.40 billion years. The habitable zone of WASP-96 lies at a distance between 0.698 astronomical units and 1.470 astronomical units from the host star. The inner boundary corresponds to the orbital distance at Venus's equivalent radiation, while the outer boundary corresponds to that of Mars's equivalent radiation. The orbital distance at Earth's equivalent radiation is 0.96 astronomical units. WASP 96b is a gas giant planet discovered orbiting WASP 96 in 2013. It is one of more than 5,000 known extrasolar planets in the Milky Way. The exoplanet has a mass of 0.48 Jupiter masses and a radius of about 1.20 Jupiter radii. It orbits the parent star WASP-96 at a distance of only 0.0453 astronomical units, taking 3.425 days to complete an orbit. The planet's temperature is about 1,285 K. WASP-96b was detected in 2013 by the Wide Angle Search for Planets, an international consortium that uses an array of robotic telescopes to perform transit photometry and discover exoplanets. The planet was discovered by a team of researchers at Keele University, led by Professor Coel Hellier. The discovery was announced in 2014. The planet has had renewed interest lately, thanks to the recent observations done by the James Webb Space Telescope. The observatory has revealed a distinct signature of water on the planet. Before the JWST observations, WASP-96b was believed to have a cloud-free atmosphere, but data obtained with the telescope indicates evidence of clouds and haze in the exoplanet spectrum. Astronomers used Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph to capture the planet's transmission spectrum. They detected not only water, but evidence of clouds and haze. The Webb observations made it possible for researchers to analyze an extrasolar planet's atmosphere at a distance of more than 1,000 light-years in unprecedented detail. 
The spectrograph captured the most detailed transmission spectrum of an extrasolar planet's atmosphere to date. It measured light from WASP-96 for 6.4 hours as the planet transited across the parent star on June 21, 2022. Webb observed the star system before, during, and after the transit. The transit itself lasted for just under two and a half hours. The amount of light blocked during the transit ranged from 1.36% to 1.47%. Astronomers obtained a light curve that showed the change in the star's brightness during the transit, as well as a transmission spectrum showing the brightness change of specified infrared wavelengths between 0.6 and 2.8 microns. Wavelengths longer than 1.6 microns make it possible to detect water, as well as molecules of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and methane. The light curve confirmed the planet's previously determined properties, orbit and size, while the transmission spectrum showed the signature of water, the presence of clouds, and signs of haze. The spectrum of WASP-96b will allow astronomers to determine the amount of water vapor and the abundance of elements like oxygen and carbon in the planet's atmosphere. The information can then be used to make inferences about the conditions and history of the planet and perhaps even confirm if it is a suitable candidate to host life. If you like this video, please also consider taking a look at this one, which talks about a strange radio signal originating from space recently detected by scientists. Do you think WASP-96b may host alien life? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.